Good morning, everyone. Let's stand. Great to be in the house of God today. I'm so thankful for the blessing of God and, and uh, the first snow that it didn't stick to anything. It was just pretty coming down. And, uh, but I'm, I'm thankful that everyone is here today. We have come to the house of God to do what? Magnify the King of Kings today, to lift up the name of Jesus. Has God been good to you this week? I'm telling you, God is good all the time, and all the time he's good. And uh, when we're faithful, he's faithful. And there are times that even when we're not faithful, he's still faithful. That's just who God is. And I'm thankful today that he uh, is just faithful in the good times and bad, in the storms, and, and when the sun shines, and, and uh, he's just good all the time. And I praise him for that. It is great to have the Wilbanks with us. It's been a while since they've been here. And uh, we are looking forward to their ministry. They're going to come at this time. And, and uh, it's been, my goodness, I don't know. I think it's been since the church was red uh, that they were here. And uh, so it was uh, quite a change for them. But uh, we are so thankful they're here. And they are now hailing from Nashville, Tennessee. So I, I think that town has a little bit of music in it. And, uh, but uh, whenever we get ready to uh, do offering here about Midway, just... Just be prepared. We want to bless them today um, because they do a lot of travel. They do a lot, a lot of hard work in ministering, and so we want to bless them, give them a good offering today. But thank you for being here today, and let's just worship with them. This isn't a concert, right? This, this is we've come to the house of God to worship together. And uh, although this does give, this does give our, our music people a break, so I know, I know they're happy about it. It gives them a chance to, to be out there and just worship without the, the stress of it all. So let's just honor the Lord. And right now, let's, let's lift our hands. Heavenly Father, we thank you today. God, we thank you, Lord, the opportunity that we have to be in your house, to lift up your name, to magnify you, God. Your, your blessings continue to flow in our lives. God, you've been so good to us, Lord, and we are so unworthy, but you continue to pour out upon us. We just give you praise right now. We magnify and glorify your name. We've come to lift you up, Lord Jesus. We're expecting your spirit to fall upon us. God, minister to us today. Minister through us today. And we give you praise and give you honor and give you glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God.
God is so good to me. How about you? It was a long, dreary, wet, nasty, drive slower than I wanted to trip yesterday, but we're thankful God got us here in one piece. And it's an honor and privilege to get to be back with you all. Thank you, Pastor Hudson, for letting us come back one more time. And the building is beautiful, of course. I loved it before, but hey, nothing stays the same. Everything's got to change. Even us old folks. <laughs> it was great to be here, and I'm just thankful for the goodness of God today. And He is good all the time. I often feel sometimes He's been too good to me. I hope you feel that way often. God, I don't know why you're just so good to me, why you keep blessing me. But thank you for your goodness. I must confess that I've doubted you, Lord, and there have been days I've tried to convince you to do things my way, but when I stepped aside, I knew you had it all worked out. Why don't you lift your voice in your hands right now and just tell him for yourself. Come on, let your voice out. Jesus, you've been too good to me. So good. Oh, Lord, you've been so good. Nobody else like you. Come on, tell him. Lord, you're good. When I thought I could so take it. You said you'd be my strength. So good. Though I don't so you keep on loving me anyway. You've been better to me, so Lord, and I've never been to myself. So no one compares to you. So How could I ever complain when everything's don't go my way? So I'll sing 
Now say it again with me. You are good. Oh, yes, you are. Yes, you are good. You're always good. Oh, he's good. been many songs written about the power of the name of Jesus. There's something about the name of Jesus. And indeed there is. When I speak the name of Jesus or I call upon the name of Jesus, I expect something to happen. How about you? Things can change in an instant. We've seen it happen in our travels. It looked like it was fixing to get real bad. And usually the the ladies are the first to jump on it at the top of their lungs. Jesus. I won't scream in the mic. And we've seen looks like almost certain tragedy avoided because of that name of Jesus. I love to speak his name. presence of you that fills the room when I call Jesus mountains crumble in your name fear and doubt are erased there is certain change when I speak your name Jesus I love to speak your name I love the earth Unmistakable presence of you that fills the room when I call Jesus. Mountains crumble in your name, fear and doubt are erased. There is certain change when I see your name, Jesus. I call you Savior. For all of these things and more, but all power in heaven and earth is called when I speak the highest name. I'm set it all when I call Jesus. I love to speak your name. I love the unmistakable presence of you. Oh, Jesus, mountains crumbled in your name, fear and doubt are erased, there is certain change when I see your name.
Are you thankful for the cross? Why don't you just lift your hands and thank him for that glorious, glorious cross? If I should glory in one thing, let it be the cross of Calvary where the Son of God was lifted high for the sins of men. He was crucified. It was there upon that rugged frame the silhouette of coldest stain both nail and thorn were driven deep oh the cross where Jesus died for me I will sing of the mercy that flowed with love where my sins they were washed in the crimson flood oh this is my story this is my song i will cling to the blood saint glorious cross cling to the blood saint glorious cross once hung but it is finished it is done it was there that death met defeat oh the cross is now my victory yes the cross thankful for that cross why don't you let your voice out and tell him Jesus I'm thankful for what you did there I'm thankful I'm thankful for that cross oh God hallelujah hallelujah can you sing this old hymn with us so I'll cherish the old rugged cross till my troll at last I lay down. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange some day for a crown. And I 
price that you paid not one of us would be here today if not for the mercy that he showed over 2,000 years ago on that cross and it's to be celebrated every single day not just once a year when we observe Easter Sunday but if you're a blood-bought child of God you've got something to celebrate today amen and you know what if if we recognize the great and terrible price that he paid and, and the length that he went to, went to to reach us, then we have to understand that he's absolutely concerned with every detail of my life right now, today. He paid the ultimate price for my freedom, so he's not just gonna leave me hanging the rest of the way. Well, I, I did my part, now you're on your own from here, figure it out. Even though some days, this, like the psalmist said, the heavens feel like they're brass, you feel like your prayers might be hitting the ceiling. His word is true and it's constant and he promised he would never leave me and he would never forsake me. So it doesn't matter what my feelings say because my feelings, I don't know about you, I'll just speak for myself, but mine are fickle and they change with the weather and that's been changing a lot lately. <laughs> and so my emotions are not fact, they can lie to me. But I know what the word of God says and I know that his word doesn't lie and it doesn't fail. In the midst of so much chaos, so much turmoil the last couple of years, we've seen, we've seen loss and suffering to a degree we've never seen it before. We've seen political and social unrest. There's new wars this year and rumors of wars because the Bible said it would happen. The Bible said perilous times would come. But he said he would not leave us. He is with us. And in the midst of all of that, while we could pass the mic around today and there'd be a lot of stories, how our lives have been altered and the things that we have been through, the suffering, there would also be a lot of testimonies in this room because we serve a faithful God. He has provided for us and we, we wouldn't have time to go into all of the things he's done for us over the last couple of years. From the beginning, back in the COVID shutdown, we weren't able to travel and minister. He provided, he kept his hand on us and we could go on and on. And then the beginning of this year, Jason and I watched our house burn to the ground that we had lived in just a short time. And there's still a lot of questions, a lot of things we don't understand. And, and I wish I had some miraculous testimony at the moment and I, and I don't have all of that other than we got out alive by the grace of God thank you Jesus and then throughout this year we've witnessed him do some things again provide financially through the goodness of God's people and and he's opened doors for us and he's he is allowing us to be a light in our community in ways that might not have happened otherwise and people have made the statement to us you're still standing after all of this that's not on our own power. That's because of the goodness and the faithfulness of God. I heard a minister say, if you ask God to use you, prepare to feel used. It, it feels really grandiose in the altar when the tears are streaming down and we have this beautiful picture. He anointed David to be king, but it was a long time before David wore that crown. There's a lot of stuff that's gonna go on in between. So he is using us in ways that we don't always comprehend, but I trust that he is working all things together for good because I serve a faithful God. It doesn't matter where you are, trust his word and trust that he will see you through. I have all confidence in him.
Your promises are true. What you say will come to pass. Every word you've ever spoken will forever stand. So many times you have come through, I have no reason to doubt you. So when my heart would yield to fear, the answers are right in front of me. You work in ways I cannot see. With blind faith, things are becoming clear. Now I have all confidence in you. You're gonna do all you said you would do. When it's out of my hands and I don't understand Your ways are higher, you're so much wiser Whatever you decide You always have my best in mind That's why I can lift my voice and say All is well Because I have all confidence in you A valley filled with bones You caused the dead to live Oh yes you did So when my circumstance seems hopeless You will breathe through life again The only thing that's binding you Is your word and you will prove You can do anything but fail Miracles in your own time There's no mistake, it's your design Reminding me again Your word prevails So I have All confidence in you You're gonna do All you said you would do When it's out of my hands And I don't understand Your ways are higher And you're so much wiser Whatever you decide you always had my best in mind That's why I can lift my voice and say All is well Because I have all confidence in you oh, oh, oh. When peace like a river attended my way Sorrow like sea billows roll Why shouldn't I? He's never failed me, although I have failed him many times. And I'm thinking, God, why do you even love me? But he just keeps on loving, keeps on blessing. How about you? My name is Terry. For those of you that don't know us, my wife, Renee, our daughter, Monica, son-in-law, Jason Matthews. And uh, it's an honor to get to here, be with you today. We, my wife and I, Spent the first 30-some years of our lives in Michigan. Monica was born there when she was 14. We left and went from state to state, traveled all over the United States, singing. Moved to the Houston area, was there for five years, and we've been on the road now every week, except for in the year that we want to just forget about. For 20 years. Matter of fact, I remember in 2020, it was time to set the clocks back, and I saw somebody post, please, let's not set our clocks back. We don't want one more hour of this year. 
But we got through it by the grace of God. We grew up not far from a, a little city. Well, it used to be a big city. It's fallen about half its size. Detroit, we referred to it as Motown, and some of you may understand that, that term. Some very great and special music came from there, and we, we like all styles, so if you don't hear something here today that you like, even if you like your music southern fried, we'll do some of that here in a bit. Then uh, we'll pray for you. But The song says, the spirit and the bride say come. The spirit. Jesus is calling. He wants everybody to go to heaven. And it's big enough. Do you believe heaven is big enough for everybody? It has to be because his word says that it's not his will that any should perish. He wants everybody to go. I want everybody to go. So the spirit and the bride, that's the church, that's us. We're, we're reaching, calling. He said, go out and, in today's language, drag them in. It says, compel them to come. I want to go. And I want everybody to go with us. The spirit and the bride, say come. Joy and perfect peace Where there will be no sad goodbyes Every tear filled by the lamb will dry Heaven is waiting, there's a savior drowning Don't you hear it calling out your name? The spirit and the bride say come Joy and perfect peace When there will be no sad goodbyes Every tear filled by the lamb will dry Heaven is waiting, there's a savior drawing Don't you hear him calling out your name The spirit and the bride say come hey, 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 hey. Come and go He's preparing just for those who wear his name. No one knows the hour, children, be ready. Is your heart prepared to hear well? The spirit and the bride say, Come. That it won't be long now and we're gonna see the king yeah. and go with me. Oh, are you ready to see Jesus? Hallelujah. The old song says soon and very soon we're going to see the king. And you know what? If I plan to get there, there I've gotta have I've gotta have instructions, I've gotta have a road map. There are directions. And it's called the word of God. The word of God that is eternal. 
He is from everlasting to everlasting. We recognize, we've already sang about the power of the name of Jesus and the Bible tells us that he has magnified his word above his name. So I've got to get in the book and build my life on something that's going to last. It doesn't matter that everybody's tried to tweak and modernize and put their relevant spin on things. Yes, we might present the gospel in a different way, but the gospel message has not changed. And if it worked on the day of Pentecost, it still worked in my grandfather's generation and it still works in 2022. Except a man be born of water and of spirit, he cannot see the kingdom of heaven. That's not my words. That's in the book. Build your life on something that's going to last. Look at somebody and tell them, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I have some friends who have decided the old ways are just antiquated. This is fine if we are talking after. When it comes down to what's in the Bible, it was true back then. Who am I to decide? This world is my philosophy. You can call me old-fashioned, say I'm steeped in tradition. But when your love runs out and your rainbow fades, I'll still be seeking the sun. Pastor Hudson to come back right now. Not to sing, right? No, no. No, we'll leave that to you all. Praise God. Let's stand. How many is enjoying the presence of God today? Praise God. He is so, so good. I'm so thankful. How many has God blessed over the past year? God's blessed tremendously above and beyond what we could ask or think. Uh, and that's not always uh, monetarily, that's, that's in relationships, that's in health, that's in, that's in so many ways. But I'm just thankful today that, that God sees at all times where we are. Even when we can't see many times just, you know, through the next day, God can see down the road. He's been there. He's walked the path. So when he says, I know where you are, he knows because he's already been there. He transcends time and space, and he, he's in the past currently. He's in the present currently, and he's in the future currently. I know that's hard for us to fathom with our, our finite minds, but he is everywhere at all times, and he is right here with us today, and I'm thankful for that. 
that no matter where we go, the psalmist says, if I make my bed in hell, you're there. Sometimes we feel like we're walking through hell. Just keep on walking. Don't stay there. Just keep on walking. God will be with you through it all. Praise God. We're going to uh, receive our tithes and bring our offerings. And let's give extra today to bless the World Banks as they continue to minister to so many people across the nation. Uh, they've done it for so many years and done such a wonderful job. Uh, reaching uh, Song reaches people in, in many times in ways that nothing else will. And I know, how many how has got a favorite song that's just really touched your life? At some point in your life, there's a song that's, that's just, it's touched your heart in such a special way. And uh, being able to minister in song is, is such a blessing, and uh, we want to be able to bless them as well. Heavenly Father, we thank you today for the opportunity to be in your house, to, to, to give to you. Lord Jesus, we understand and know that you don't need anything from us except our heart. God, we do out of obedience, Lord. We, we return our tithing. We, we give our offering, Lord Jesus. And we know that in this faithfulness, God, you bless. It's according to your word. You bless us. And we thank you, Lord God, that you have blessed us, provided the jobs, provided the income for us to be able to continue to, to further the kingdom of God. And we give you praise and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's bring it to the Lord right now. If you're giving digitally, just in the memo, put Will Banks. We'll make sure that they get that. like vacation. All right. The rest of y'all that don't, I have a proposal we can uh, take your vacation money, give it to the building fund. No, I'm just kidding. It's a joke. Well, it's getting, it's cold for the first weekend. Anybody like cold? And then, oh yes. Some of y'all are like, no. Well, it's getting cold and then you have Thanksgiving break. Yes. And then all of you college students have to go back for, for finals. I just kill the whole mood right there. And then you at Christmas break, yes. And then you go back to school, and then you'll be ready for a vacation, right? So we have a proposal at the end of the summer, one last hurrah, beginning of September. We want you to follow the Appalachian Mountains all the way down to the bottom end in the Smokies and go with us on vacation. How does that sound? First week of September, join us and a whole bunch of our friends in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Anybody ever been to Gatlinburg? If you've never been to Gatlinburg, um, go down to the other side of the most beautiful mountain range in America and come, come, be, come be with us. It's beautiful here. It's beautiful down there. Come be with us in the Smokies the first week of September with a whole bunch of our friends, and we'll sing to you for three days. So the girls have all the information out there. Um, come on, go with us. They don't need to come for the mountains. They got plenty of that here. Just come for the music. And, hey, I just found out, according to your pastor, I, I'm in Motown right now. So there. We would also like to go home with you today, but you don't want to take me home with you because I like to snack. So your grocery bill would go up and um, inflation, all the other crazy stuff. You don't need to add that to. Um, so we would love it if you just take us home by way of product in the foyer. There's CDs out there. The more you buy, the more you save. There's a bundle wrapped up in a bow. You purchase that. You can get our brand new CD. My name is Victory for free. Um, there are 
some little buttons back there that say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. There's some that say, give your smile away. Those are good stocking stuffers too, just saying. We're, we're at that time of year, tis the season. So we wanna help you with your Christmas shopping. Um, there's some other music formats. Yes, we're, we're on the streaming platforms. We have USBs of, right now we have the vintage collection. Our current collection of music is on its way, but some of you say, I don't have a CD player in my car anymore. Well, we can help you out right there. You've got a USB drive if you don't have a CD player. And so um, you can take advantage of that. He talked about praising the Smokies. We had so much fun last year. We captured some of that on DVD and the Wilbanks are on there and some other artists. You can check those out. Um, ladies, there's a small sampling of my mom's clothing website in the foyer and she's got more information because there's a lot more on the website than what will fit in the foyer. And then you may have seen several shirts out there. There's a patriotic shirt. There's, uh, you were never meant to stay broken. My name is Victory. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And uh, again, there's some package deals where you can uh, roll a whole bunch of stuff in and take home everything but the table. We'll keep the table. So come talk to us about that. Find us at thewillbanksmusic.com. We're on Facebook. We're on Instagram, YouTube, all over. Just type in the Wilbanks and it should lead you to us. And there's videos of some of the songs that we're doing today. And God is using those to do some really awesome things. You know, we I love to post um, what we've had for dinner and where we're traveling and all of that good stuff we like to do. And we post our all of our political opinions and our, our expert advice on health because we've all become experts um, on social media. That was supposed to, that was for free. You were supposed to laugh at that. Um, but you can use the social media platforms to share the gospel. And so people are doing that and sharing videos of our songs with friends and family and coworkers that otherwise wouldn't be familiar with our music. And people are making their way out to the house of God because they felt something in the message of a song. So help us get the word out that way because we live in, we've already talked about it, in chaos. And our world is in a state of fear and they need to understand that the old Sunday school song is still true. He's got the whole world in his hands, the great big world on a grand scheme. And so that means he's got my world and he's got your world and every detail ironed out so I don't have to fret and worry and, and be the fixer that I like to be. I've just gotta let him handle it and remember that he's God, I'm not. I feel like I can take on the world But there are days I want to run and hide You must laugh and shake your head At all my inconsistencies But you keep loving, you keep preaching Wise Father, you are teaching This world and all its problems are too much for me Even my own circumstances is still too big for me and your wisdom is beyond me One of these days I'm gonna get it You are God and I am not Woo! I'm glad you know he's got it all worked out You made the world in six days and you rested But I've always got one more thing to get done I must think big of myself to feel the world relies on me. When it revolves around you, there's nothing you can't do. I think you finally get through. This world and all its problems are too much for me. Even my own circumstance is still too big for me to handle. You are in control, and your wisdom is beyond me. One of these days I'm gonna get it. You I got it. Conductor, so I must follow your lead Instead of living by desperate measures I will listen for your heart This world and all its problems are too much for me Even my own circumstances are still too big for me And though you are in control And your wisdom is beyond me Days I'm gonna get it. You are God and I am not. This world and all its problems are too much for me. Even my own circumstances still too big for me to handle. 
Though you are in control And your wisdom is beyond me One of these days I'm gonna get it You are God and I and I One of these days I'm gonna get it You are God and I and I There's power in prayer. How many believe that? I remember an old song. I can't remember who sung it or wrote it. There's power in prayer, power to spare. All that you ever need, you'll find waiting there. There's power in prayer. Things change. As I mentioned a while ago, just a few screams of, Jesus, Jesus. And we've, we've watched miracles happen. So I believe in prayer. Hate can be conquered through prayer. Somebody just doesn't like you, you know, just don't not like them back. Just pray for them. Say, God, change that individual. Chains are broken through prayer. Things happen when God's people pray. Amen? All around where is hope when none seems to be found where is the healing when hearts break within and it seems like evil wins when fear tries to paralyze we fall on our knees and we believe heaven's gonna answer when we pray Change is bound to happen when we pray. Hate will be conquered when we see the face of God. Fear has to be silent when we pray. The curse of sin is broken when we pray. No weapon prospers. There's no When we rise, declaring a certain sound, when we cry for heaven to come down, when all God's people join forces in faith, He promised when we call His name, heaven's gonna answer when we pray. Bound to happen when we pray. Hate will be conquered when we seek the face of God. Fear has to be silent when we pray. The curse of sin is broken when we pray. No weapon prospers. There's no of hell will not prevail against us in the name of Jesus Christ. Heaven's gonna answer when we pray. Change is bound to happen when we pray. Hate will be conquered when we seek the face of God.
Struggling to get past cliche I know you're worthy of my praise No matter if the day brings joy or pain You are God, sovereign and wise Still every moment there's a choice I make To trust you in your flawless way I'm learning how to rest in your sufficient grace So whatever, whatever you decide Nothing less than holy, perfect are your ways. Great are your thoughts toward me. Tears may fall, but praise arises. Still, I will trust when I can see. From my heart, I'll sing. Your ways are too wonderful for me. Do you believe that? Your wisdom is unsearchable So mighty yet so merciful Choose to work in ways inconceivable And your plans forever Trust when I can see from my heart, I'll sing it. Your ways are too wonderful for me. You hear every cry, you see every care. Not one tear has gone unnoticed. You will answer every prayer in your perfect time. Than good, you are nothing less than holy. Perfect are your ways, great are your thoughts for me. Tears may fall, the praise arises. Still, I will trust when I can see. From my heart, I'll sing it. Your ways are too wonderful for me. Your ways are too Are you thankful he knows everything? He can get you out of any mess. Well, three people believe me. Has he ever gotten you out of a mess? And you know what? This world will tell you that you're nothing but a victim. I'm so sick of hearing of Camp Lejeune. If you were there and you were affected by that, I'm sorry, but I'm sick of hearing about all this. You may be a victim. And they want you to think that. And they want you to uh, uh, live that way. Because they've got you in, your gra in their grasp when, you can, when they've convinced you that you are nothing more than just a, a statistic. But Jesus Christ said, I'm going to take your statistic and I'm going to turn it into something great. Because you don't have to live as a victim. 
Anybody ever had a prayer answered? Well, if you've never had one, guess what? I'm going to give you one that you can get answered real quick. Jesus, forgive me. Because the moment you pray that prayer, guess what? Because he promised in his word he would do that before you even knew that you needed to pray that prayer. But you can go through life forgiven and still have sin in your life. That's why you need remission of sins. By the way, I'm telling you how to, how to not be a victim. And I'm telling you how to be a victor. That's why God gave you the church because he gave the power of remission of sins to the church. And when you go to someone and say, guess what? I need to be baptized. And when they put you down in Jesus' name and they bring you up again, there's another prayer that was answered because in that moment, all of your sins are washed away and it feels different. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise that it's just some public display of your, your belief. It's not. There's a spiritual thing that goes on there. And if you've never received the baptism of the Holy Spirit, anybody here received the baptism of the Holy Spirit with evidence of speaking in other tongues? If you've never have, there's a whole bunch of people that just raise their hands that want you to receive it more than you realize you need it because it will change your life. Because at that moment, the spirit of the one who said, be of good cheer, I have overcome the world, begins to live in your life. And at that moment, you've changed your name from victim to victory. And we just said it that way in this song, my name is Victory. a victim, now a victor. You didn't know me when, but my story's been rewritten. Now my name is Victory. Once upon a time I was held captive. I had been a pawn in the devil's game. I was headed for death and destruction. Abused, ashamed, a slave until the day Christ the liberator broke those chains Gave me his power when I took his name Born of the water, born of the spirit Born again, my name's been changed My name is victory Once it was captivity The enemy called dibs on me Sun sets free, is free in me. No longer slave if you've been adopted in his name, so you can say my name is victory. Once it was captivity. Oh, the enemy called it.
morning. Are you truly thankful that we got victory by the power of the name of Jesus? We have been delivered. We have been set free. We have been redeemed by the precious name of Jesus. You know, there's a lot of people here uh, in this world today that have power behind their names. There's people that um, maybe it's a movie star. Maybe it's a politician. Maybe it's just someone that's accumulated a lot of wealth. And they're, they've got some power. When you speak their name, they, they may be able to get you in places that you normally would not be able to get into. But their names are not going to do for you what the power of the name of Jesus can do for you. You see, it's only the name of Jesus that's going to save our souls, that's going to heal us from our sickness, that's going to deliver us from any situation that we might find ourselves in this morning. It is only by the power of the name of Jesus that we are set free. Strongholds are broken. When we begin to call on the name of Jesus, I don't know what you're facing here this morning. But I do know that your answer is in the power of that name. Speak the name of Jesus and see what he can do in your life today. Oh, there is something about that name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. a power the universe cannot contain it has no rival its greatness cannot be explained divine authority over every breathing thing nothing hinders nothing stops the sovereign name Just the mention of the name Jesus, Jesus The very atmosphere changes Bound to free, sickness leaves Broken hearts are new again By the power of that mighty name Heaven and earth stand still at the sound that name a mighty tower that we can run to and be safe and at the mention a soothing sound a sweet refrain and just like a gentle rain sets the troubled mind at ease peace and safety can be found The mention of the name Jesus, Jesus, the very atmosphere changes. Found a free, our sickness free. leaves, broken hearts are new again by the power of that mighty name. Heaven and earth stand still at the sound. Fear the name, sickness answers to the name, faith increases when we speak it, chains are broken in the name, strongholds conquered in the name, sin defeated in the name, fear is bad.
Thank you, Jesus. There's power, all power in the name of Jesus. And it's here right now for whatever you need. If you need healing in your body, if you need deliverance, if you just need some peace today, our world needs peace. Whatever it is you need. If you need deliverance from a painful past, whether it's something that you brought on yourself, the Bible says all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. It doesn't matter if we grew up on a church pew. Everybody's got a past and things that we're not proud of. But maybe you've had things done to you and as he's already mentioned, you, you feel like a victim. The enemy wants us to stay in that mentality because if we stay in a victim mentality, we'll never reach our full potential. But you weren't meant to carry all of that. He said, come unto me, all you that are weary and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Don't walk out of here the same way. Come and lay it at the feet of Jesus. Leave it at the cross. You were never meant to stay broken. weary lay down your burdens and he will give you rest come all who are wounded praying for healing from every mess you make though he will never turn you away and restores wait till you see what he can do with hopeless you were never meant no you were never meant to stay broken bring every question the doubts that have whispered You'll never be whole again. Bring the fear you've been fighting, the chains you've been hiding, all of the same old sins and mistakes. I'll just let Jesus take it away.
I wonder if you can close your eyes and lift your hands all over this house right now and open your mouth and just begin to talk to him. Just the first thing that comes to your mind. Whatever you want to tell him right now. The Holy Ghost has moved into this place. And there's somebody here I know that you need an answer today. Or you're sick of living with whatever you're living with. You're sick of dealing with the stuff. And if you'll just give him a chance, I'm asking everyone on this place, if you stand up right now in your seat, in your area, and if you feel the Holy Ghost drawing on you, I wonder with all eyes, every eye closed still, if you feel the Holy Ghost drawing on you, that emotion that you're feeling, that, that, that release that seems to be wanting to come, that's the Holy Ghost drawing on you. That's Jesus drawing on you. And if you'll make your way, you step out from where you are and make your way to the altar right now, just lift up your hands and say, Jesus, I surrender at this moment. If you, Come on, come on. If you'll say, Jesus, I surrender. Help me out, oh God, with this situation, this problem, this pain, this embarrassment, this stuff in my life that doesn't feel good. I promise you that in this moment, this is what we've been working for for this entire service so that your life can be changed, so that your life can be different. I don't care if you grew up here or grew up on a church pew or if this is your first time here. The Holy Ghost is here, and that's what you're feeling. The Holy Ghost is here to make everything better, to make everything new. That's what he wants to do. That's what he told us. Behold, I make all things new. I make all things new. I make all things new. In Jesus' name, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Hallelujah. If there's someone out there, there's some elders in the audience, you see someone down here, let the Holy Ghost speak to you. Maybe he's already spoken to you. And he, he, he's drawing you to come pray with somebody. Why don't you step out? Don't be afraid of that. That's the Holy Ghost. Come down here and lay your hands on somebody and pray with them. They might need your strength and your faith to help them get through. They might need your strength and your faith to break through their situation. If you're here today and you've never received the baptism of the Holy Spirit, all you have to do is raise up your hands and ask Him to forgive you of your sins. And then when He forgives you, when you've asked Him, just begin to thank Him for forgiving you. Then ask Him to fill you and then begin to thank Him for filling you with the Holy Ghost. And if you hear something in your brain that doesn't sound normal, your tongue sounds like it wants to say something you've never said before in another language, that's the Holy Ghost. Just let it come out of your mouth. Just let it come out. That's, that's the evidence of the Holy Ghost in your life. If you need healing in your body, why don't you make your way down here and we'll pray for you. And the Bible says the prayer of faith shall save the sick. Come on. Come on. Maybe a husband and wife, you got something going on in your family and you need an answer. Why don't you grab your spouse's hand and make your way down here and lift up your hands and say, God, we surrender it to you today. We surrender it to you. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name.
sing that song again and we'll sing it together as a congregation I want us to sing that as a commitment to the Lord today because so often we 
we pull back and we say, my life is in my hands. I, I got this, God. If I need you, I'll call you. And in the midst of an overwhelming situation, we call out on God. But it's all those in-between times that God wants to continue to direct our life that, that we say, oh, it's okay, God, I, I got it. I, I'll handle it. And it's because of that that we get into those times where we have to go, okay, God, I can't handle it. Because we've walked our own path and we've taken our own detours and we've turned, we've turned left when we should have turned right and we've gone when we should have stopped or we've stopped when we should have gone. So I want us to sing it as a commitment. Say, Lord, my life is in your hands. I don't want us to leave here today and say, well, that was, that was wonderful, wonderful music. Now let's just go on. I want us to walk out of here today with a with a commitment in our soul and in our heart that says, God, I'm, I'm going to give my life to you because I want you to, to use me to do great things in the kingdom. I, I don't want to get to the end of this life or to the rapture and, and, and think, well, I could have done so much more. I could have done so much more. But to sell out, to sell out for the kingdom, to sell out for the kingdom, shameless plug for the chosen series how many have how many have seen that series a few of you have I hadn't watched it yet because typically typically any of those things that are done in the Christian world are deeply underfunded which means they can't get the actors that they really need the props are terrible the lighting's terrible they're using cameras from back in the 80s and so I just said yeah I'm, I'm, I'm not going to dive into that but I did recently and and I watched an episode yesterday evening left the church here about 930 after we got the will banks all set up and went home and watched an episode of it and it even though I had seen it in the Word so many times, it just really struck me as Simon asked Jesus, what do you want me to do? And it was just two words. Jesus said, follow me. Follow me. Ah, simple enough. But I was praying it this morning in our time of prayer from 9.15 to 9.45. I, I, I said, Lord, I... I want to do that. I just want to follow you. Wherever you lead, help me to follow you because I know that every step he takes is perfect. Every step he takes is purposeful. Every step he takes is meaningful. He doesn't waste a step. So if we walk in his footsteps, we will take perfect steps, meaningful steps, purposeful steps. And the only way that we can do that is if we say, my life is in your hands. Let's sing that. I know that I can make it. I know that I can stand. No matter what may come my way, my life is in your hands. Yes. With Jesus I can take it. With Him I know I can stand. My life in your hands, God. No matter what may come my way, my life is in your hands. And with Jesus, I can take it. With Him, I know I can stand. No matter what may come my way, no matter what may come my way.
let's let's get our hands in the air today. Let's finish out with praise and worship to Him. No matter what comes my way, Lord, my life is in Your hands. I will trust You. I will trust You, Lord. I will step in the way that You have gone. You have lit the path for me, and I will walk in it today. Lord, I will boldly go where You lead. I will follow you, Jesus. I will follow you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, today. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you. Let's give them a hand today. They are so deserving of it. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Wonderful to have the Wilbanks with us sharing in song and ministering that's what i love it's not just it's not just come and let's sing a few songs and you guys enjoy but they minister throughout and i'm so thankful for that today immediately following this is for those that haven't heard over the past 18 weeks about operation christmas child it's operation christmas child packing party so I know that that is in the fellowship hall this year because it's gotten larger. And uh, not the people haven't gotten larger, but the party's gotten larger. And we are going to be over there packing all that up. I'm telling you, it's not just about putting some dollar store stuff in a box. But it truly does change the lives of children all around the world. It really does make a massive difference in their lives. And I'm so thankful that we can be a part of that. Also, don't forget, out in the foyer, they have some things that you can uh, purchase to be able to continue having the will banks in your life, which is a good thing, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you for being in the house of God today. Let us go in the name of Jesus. Be bold in the name of Jesus and celebrate the name of Jesus. God bless you today.